This one is called the umbrella split. It works on spin, it works on static. Prerequisites for this, you definitely should be comfortable in your masthead or ship's bitch, whatever you wanna call it, okay? That you feel comfortable enough to be able to take your arm, leg, that kind of thing off, okay? This one works on spin or static, but that being said, I would say this is triple force, does help with the spin. Um, you can spin either direction though, okay? If I do a trick on my left side versus my right side, I still spin the same direction. My preferred direction is counterclock or I'm sorry, clockwise. Okay, we all have a preferred direction to spin, but I'll still do the trick on both sides and you feel it in different areas. Okay, so don't worry too much about making sure your spin is going in the right direction for it. So for this one, it does take some hamstring flexibility if you are taking it to a full split and definitely some glute engagement of that bottom leg or back leg, depending on how you wanna think of it, okay? But that being said, this doesn't have to be a perfect line split, okay? For those of you maybe that don't have a split or you just wanna be creative and you're tired of splits all the time, make it a different shape. It can be a double stag, bent leg, geometric, whatever you want it to be, okay? So technically, I believe the umbrella split is both legs straight, but there are all kinds of variations, okay? So play around with it, whatever works best for you. So for this, we're gonna start from our masthead and we're gonna walk through what's happening on the ground first because you know, once we get up on the pole, sometimes things happen. So you're gonna be in your masthead. First thing first, your outside hand is going to reach behind your back and grab thumb up right here. Okay, depending on your shape and your comfort level with this, this is why I say you wanna make sure you're really comfortable with your masthead. For a lot of people when they're in their masthead, their torso is in line with their body. So you wanna think about pushing your hips forward a little bit to create space for that hand to come through. Okay, so the hand is gonna be grabbing above your back, kind of in the small, or I'm sorry, above your butt, small of your back right there. Once that is there, your outside leg is going to come up and you're gonna grab with your inside hand. So inside hand is gonna go thumb up and you're gonna grab ankle to straighten that leg out, okay? But as I said at the beginning, depending on flexibility, if you're like, oh, that is not happening, you can grab your knee, okay? You can grab your calf, you can make it whatever shape you want, okay? But our goal eventually is to at least be comfortable with grabbing down here at the ankle. Once you've grabbed that, that arm can be straight, it can be bent depending on flexibility, length of your arms, length of your legs, all those things. So remember, just like all pull shapes and tricks, they're gonna look a little bit different depending on your body proportions, flexibility, all those things, okay? Once you've got that leg, the last part to come off is that inside leg that was hooked here and giving us this extra contact point is going to come off and it's going to extend back, okay? So really think about engaging your glute to extend that back. As you extend this leg back, I find, especially on spin, as I extend it back, it actually pushes me more into this hand and it actually locks the move in even more. So yes, you are giving up this contact point of this leg right here, but as you take it back, you're actually locking this in even a little bit more, okay? So let's look at how this looks. I'm demoing on spin simply because my pole is already on spin and as a lot of you probably already know, I kind of prefer spin, but that's just me. Do you, okay? So you don't have to be high. Maybe a climb up into my masthead. Hand goes behind my back. I'm gonna bring that outside leg up, grab my ankle, extend the leg, and then push the other leg back. And there is your umbrella split. When you're ready to come out, re-hook that inside leg, release the outside leg, re-grab, you're in your masthead and continue on your merry way wherever else you would like to go with your combo. So that is an umbrella split. Play around with it, make it your own, try it in a photo shoot, try it on your left side, try it on your right side, try it spinning, try it static, all the things. Let me know how it goes.